Okay, so I did want to just make this quick video. I'm going. I've been at the house all day, and I've been cleaning up stuff. And I've got to go. I've been busy all day. My phone's been ringing off the hook. So if that's what you hear, that's me. Anyhow, I I've been in talks with some people, and so, something just has been weird the past couple of days. Colonel put this out a little bit ago, and I'm gonna put this out here just so let everyone know. This morning I woke up to see my phone flash notification: my Jason Aldean Las Vegas false flag video was given a community guideline strike, which is my second, the first being from you-know-who. This means I can't upload anything for two weeks. Reading Twitter most of the day, seems YouTube's taken down all exposés on false flags, which means something bigger than what just happened in Florida is coming. I don't I don't know. Nearly all the videos exposed in Sanding Hook are gone. Mass exodus is taking place among truth. There's even petition from some to take legal action against Google and YouTube. I've heard that too. While I did not make money off videos, nor will I support this cause of action, course of action, wish them the very best. Same, finished with YouTube's an understatement, and I don't blame him. The Holy Spirit didn't force me out of bed to make sure I captured all my country videos and log journals. I tried to go back to sleep, but it was blah blah blah. <clears throat> it's about to get, it is about to get real. So he had a video taken down. Well, when you know, I noticed this. I, I don't know if this was yesterday. No, it was two days ago, Sunday. Spoken Night, one of Spoken Night's backup channels, America's Got Puppets, was taken down for violating YouTube's community guidelines. And apparently, and I found out that it was for more false flags. Thankfully, he's got another one back up. It's the same name, but it is a different logo. And there's a few videos he's done. You see right here, uh, Alchemy Stones and Sorcerers 322, Skull and Bone stuff, research... See what I mean? Anyway, back to what I was saying. He's got a new backup channel, so a very, very humble brother in the Lord. I recommend you check him out. Spoken Night Ministries, this is one of his backups. He also has, uh, come on now. Really? All you gotta do is refresh the page to fix that. There you go. SK Ministries. So all this right here. And th this, oddly enough, reminds me of something that happened to me. I, I, I want to make something clear. I'm not trying to do the fear porn sort of thing on this video, but I, I, I'm just going to make a point of this. A, a couple weeks ago, I guess this has been a little back, um, I ordered a book about a month ago from my school and one of my classes, and I, I, I needed it for about a month, and it never came. Part of it was due to the snowstorm, which, you know, I, I get. It happens. But it was like three weeks after the snowstorm that it finally came. And I, I left some bad feedback. Where was that? Let me let me get in full. Okay, I got it. I understand that this was going to be delivered later than perhaps expected due to the crazy weather. But a full month or so after I ordered this item is absolutely uncalled for and just before inexcusable. I've needed this book from my world history class for the past month and failed the first test thanks to me not being able to have it. Hope you have a good excuse as to why this took this long. So I all, I was mad at this point. I almost cussed him out. Well, how, does, how do I get this responding? We sincerely apologize for the delay. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, that's not where it started. I happened to look at the feedback you left for your order. It always is my priority to provide customers pleasant, hassle-free shopping experience. We did ship your order in timely. Obviously not, but it came back to us as undelivered. The reason was not clear, so we shipped it again as it was delivered to you two weeks ago. Of all days, it had to be a 13th, and it was. We understand your disappointment due to delay in rece receipt of the order, but we too lose our control once it was handled over for delivery to the Postal Service. Further to compensate the d delay, we are ready to issue the refund for shipping charges. Yeah, that, that's two bucks. Come on, Al. Please advise us this is acceptable. I, nothing I can do, and I'll show you why. We sincerely apologize for the delay and inconvenience caused to you, and humbly request that you kindly consider removing the feedback neg negative feedback at Amazon. They give me these steps to feedback. Well, I just looked on my Amazon profile because I, I happen to have Prime and I've had it since I was in school. Let me go to my orders. $33 almost. Whew. Let me just show you this. You see, where was that? See right here, it has one customer review. I gave it two stars out of five. 
Guess what's there? Three stars. This Claire Megan W., whoever it is, said, I was satisfied with the book, in good condition, exactly what I needed. The only drawback was how long it took to ship. Whose review's not there? Mine. I had, my, my review was gone. So I had no way to take it down. I did not even have a way to take it down. And I noticed this right when I did this. I just didn't say anything because I thought it was something kind of foolish to even talk about. But now that all this has gone on with Colonel and Spoken Knight, stuff getting taken down on them, yeah, so something's getting ready to happen, and I don't know what it is. And it, it reminded me of this thing. This has been a while back. This is like two months ago. I got a big spigot on uh, yeah, this is why you. This is why I hate ads on things. This is why you wish these would go away. Okay, today it's refinance rate three point one eight. Well, what's one and eight together? It's a nine. So three point nine is a subliminal six six six. It's upside down. Anyhow, Indiana Hotel charges guests three hundred and fifty dollars after she posts a negative review. Former owner of an Indiana hotel is being sued for charging a woman three hundred fifty dollars for posting a negative online review that said there was hair and dirt on the sheets in her room and other cleanliness issues. Indiana's Attorney General's office content shut up that whoever this is violated the state's deceptive consumer sales act by charging guests three hundred fifty dollars if they posted negative reviews but didn't inform management about problems during their stay at this place. Indiana's suit filed December fifteenth seeks a reimbursement for the guest and a court order barring their Southern Indiana hotel from maintaining and enforcing such a policy, which it calls unfair, abusive, and deceptive. Arthur said she and her husband stayed for one day in March 2016 when ho at the hotel that abuts, whatever, Brown County State Park in the rustic tourist town in Nashville. When they arrived, their room was unclean without a functioning air conditioning, had other issues. It was a nightmare. Go away. Not interested. Jeez. Scroogle. It was a nightmare. The room was unkempt and it looked like it hadn't been cleaned since the last people stayed there. We checked the sheets and I found hairs and dirt. Indiana's lawsuit says Arthur had not seen the hotel's review policy online. She wasn't provided with a copy of it during her stay. It contends Arthur tried to complain about the room's condition while staying at the inn, but no employee was on site and her calls to an after-hours telephone number went unanswered. Arthur checked out of the hotel. There was no one at the front desk she could complain to. After Arthur received an email from the hotel asking her to leave an online review of her stay, she posted a review recounting the issues she encountered the complaint says. April 2nd, she received a letter from whatever, saying her false statements had harmed the business and demanding she remove the review within a week or face legal action for libel. <laughs> oh, wow. You can't get rid of that. A few days later, her credit card was charged $350 because of the negative review. She filed a complaint with State Attorney General's office made in a statement that he, he's president and sole shareholder of this place, but has not operated the 14-room Nashville Hotel since January 2017, where new owners assumed control of the inn. What a shock. So he tuck and ran. Thank the Lord I can get rid of this. Why, why do I keep seeing this? Jeez. So that between fall and 2015, summer 2016, hotel had the review policy under which Arthur was charged. Policy response to hotel guests checking out without making any complaints during their stay and then demanding a refund or posting negative comments or reviews on social media. It's a, it's a shame that the actions of a disgruntled guest taken 22 months ago will now damage the hard work and devotion of the new young management couple who had nothing to do with the guest or that policy which has long since been canceled. Hotel's current owner operated with her husband said Wednesday they were taken completely by surprise by news of the lawsuit stemming from the alleged actions as their predecessor. So she and her husband took over ownership in January and do not have a policy that charges guests if they make negative reviews. Since the lawsuit was filed against them, however, she said the hotel's faced hundreds of trolls hmm, who have taken over all our review sites. And she's also received threatening phone calls. Wow. So you go against any you go against a hotel and you get you you get charged. You go against what YouTube wants you to do and you get taken down in videos, community got bogus community guideline strikes. I mean we we've seen that happen numerous times. So this has me wondering if something's about to happen 
where they're going to try to take everything out. I'm, I, again, I'm not trying to do the fear porn or anything, but I, felt, I was reading something and I felt led to go to this scripture right here. More distractions. This is why you need a hard copy King James Bible. I'm going to make this smaller so I can... Oh, I didn't even catch this. I mean, I can't get rid of the ads, so there's nothing I can do on this. But you look here. Pizza Hut, 2, 2, and 5. Well, what's 2, 2, and 5? That's 9. So 999 nine, nine, subliminal 666. Six, six. Wow. You can't, even, you can't even get rid of it. Can't get rid of it. Unbelievable. Anyway, Exodus 1, 8 to 10 says, Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest, lest they multiply and it come to pass, that when there fall without any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. So get them up out of the land. What does wisely mean? Prudently, judiciously, discreetly, with wisdom, craftily, with art or stratagem. What does craftily? Oh, for... Can't type. With craft, cunning or guile, artfully, cunningly, with more art than honesty. Yeah. This has me wondering, because it'd be one thing if if it was just YouTube and Google doing this, but apparently Facebook's been involved with some stuff, um, and now you got Amazon taking out feedback. So, it is what it is. I'm I'm not going to be making a move unless the Lord the Holy Spirit leads me to. But yeah, I mean this is getting sick. Mm -mm -mm. Really? And it's getting louder where I'm at because they're building a house. A house right across from where I live. And won't move any trucks that they have. Just to make it more dangerous. Stupid people doing stupid stuff. And here's what it is. Anyway. Amidst all the craziness that's in this wicked world, there is indeed hope. To all have sinned and fallen short of God's great glory. That sin deserves death. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ shed his innocent blood. He bore the punishment you and I deserved. He arose from the grave three days after dying on that old wicked cross. And if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, you believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, the Bible says you'll be saved, and you're saved by grace through faith. But faith without works is dead. It don't get it twisted. It's salvation that produces works, not the other way around. And the works are going to feel like a responsibility more than a work. You must ask the Lord to create in you a clean heart, renew a right spirit within you. You must also repent and turn fully from your sin. And having any kind of ego or respect of persons is a sin. They're just examples. Otherwise, you'll be in a, you'll meet these people's fate. There's no rest day or night. There's weeping, there's moaning, gnashing of teeth, sorrow, torment, misery, death, 24-7 for every eternity. That place is none other than hell. God is the only one who saves, and he saves all that call on his holy name and do so truthfully. But you got to make the effort to cry out to him. The Bible tells us that every day, put on armor of God. Now, one sense of that is you get off your electronics. You get off YouTube, you now, what's the new one, Daily Motion. I don't even know what all is out there. There's so much out there. There's so much garbage that's being fed daily to us. And the only way we can defeat it is by reading the the King James Bible, getting a hard copy King James Bible. You can get them for a dollar. Money should not be an excuse. You're going to spend money on a book, you a, a book you need for class, $35 or whatever it was. You can spend a dollar on a Bible. You can get 30 Bibles for that. Money is not an excuse to get a hard copy King James Bible. And it's also not an excuse to get in prayer, to not get in prayer to God every single day. Pray to the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ to give you wisdom. The Word also says, Be ye holy as God is holy. And the only way to do that is through Jesus Christ. That's the Gospel. And at the end of the day, we answer to God, not to man. Trust no man, only God. Because man can and will, either intentionally or unintentionally, lead you astray and deal wisely with you. God will never lead you astray. And he'll give you what you need. 
not what you want. Have a blessed day.